Hi, I'm Adam Drake from LOSI. I'm going to go through and explain today uh, how I build my shocks using the new LOSI vented shock caps and foam compensators. Um, you can run the foam compensator just the way that it comes, just in the full length. Um, but what I actually do is, is cut it just a little bit shorter and then also chamfer the edge just to give it a little bit better shape so that it fits into the bladder a little bit better. Um, it's, it's pretty simple to do. Like I said, you can, you can use it just the way that the foam comes, uh, but I like to shape it just a little bit so that it fits into the bladder. Um, and what, what this does, just to explain a little bit, the reason why we went this route is because you end up getting pressure behind the bladder and the pressure will end up changing the amount of rebound you have as you go throughout the course of a run. As, as your shocks get hotter, you'll gain a little bit more pressure, you'll gain a little bit more rebound. So by having the cap vented, you, you never have pressure behind the bladder. The, the pressure is actually from the foam. Um, it just makes the shocks a lot more consistent. Um, your rebound doesn't change regardless of the temperature which also means your ride height won't change throughout the course of a run. Uh, just overall makes the shocks a lot more consistent and uh, makes the buggy easier to drive. So I already have my shocks here already topped off with oil. Um, I'll just basically take the, take the shock and compress it just a couple times just to make sure if there's any air in the oil, you get that out. Let them sit for a couple minutes. And then depending on how much rebound you want is by how much you push the shaft up. For example, if you want the shock to have full rebound, you'll just barely push the shock shaft up, just a few millimeters. Generally in my rear shocks, I run a quarter to half rebound. I'm gonna build these shocks uh, with about half rebound. So I'll push the shaft halfway up, take and set the bladder on top, bleeding out any excess oil. Wipe it off on the paper towel here. Drop my foam compensator on top. And then just screw the cap on. Now you can go ahead and just compress the shock couple times and then you'll see the shaft come back out about halfway. Now generally with the front shocks I'll run a little bit more rebound. So to get a little bit more rebound you just won't compress the shock shaft quite as far. Just compress it. For, the, for this shock I'm going to build it with three quarter rebound so I only compress the shock about a quarter of the way. Set the bladder on top to bleed out the excess oil. When you do that, you'll just slightly pull the shaft down just to suck the bladder and hold it in place. Set the foam compensator on top, and then screw your cap on. Then you'll just pump the shock a few times, and you'll see that the rebound comes back out to three quarter the length of the, the shaft. If you want more rebound, you just don't compress the shock quite as much before setting the bladder on. And if you want less rebound, you push the shaft farther in before setting the bladder on top. It's as easy as that. It's really simple. Um, the amount of rebound I change all the time depending on the track conditions. Generally, if you want more grip or if you're on an extremely bumpy track, you'll run a little bit more rebound. It just helps keep the tires on the ground. If it's a really high bite track, I run less rebound just to make the car a little smoother and easier to drive. Um, but again, it's something that I, I tune my car with all the time and um, something that's very simple and easy to do.